welcome back for yet another bonus episode on Let's Play Battlefield 1942. And today we're returning for another round of the Coral Sea, which is a map we haven't seen in a while. Uh, just in case you've forgotten, this is a map with two aircraft carriers, no control points. You can't move the carriers and your objective is to destroy the enemy carrier before they can destroy yours. And on this round, I'm going to play as the engineer. And if you're playing as an engineer and you want to put landmines on the enemy carrier's deck, it's often useful to switch to your landmines before you even enter your plane. That way if you're bailing out and uh, you, you drop landmines as you parachute down, you won't have to switch over to your landmines before you start dropping. And here we go. As you can see, the aircraft carrier icon was showing on our side in gray. That means the vehicle is empty, which is standard. But here it can be useful because you can tell when the other side's carrier is unoccupied. That means none of their four flat guns are being used. If it doesn't appear, then that means it's occupied and there's going to be some uh, hot flat guns active. You'll notice the hit indicator. Um, if you can see it on the video quality. It'll flash when your bombs hit the deck, and there the uh, icon is indicating that the carrier is empty. That's also very useful. Not only do you know that there's no flat guns to worry about, you also know um, in advance what angle you need to approach at to go down the runway. You want to kind of line yourself up just going straight down the runway whenever possible because that means uh, the flat guns have the most difficulty hitting you because they're on the sides. And I haven't really... These planes are kind of awkward to steer on the American side. There we go. Uh, some hot flat guns taking a lot of damage against me. Now if I decided to parachute drop to set the landmines, I would try to get as far toward the planes as possible and then just you can drop them while you're parachuting down. And once you've used them all, you can start dropping X-Packs as well. <laughs> It's kind of a handy thing over there by the side. There's, uh, there's a lot of guys coming after me. Alright, looks like the uh, Japanese planes are angling themselves deliberately to avoid getting hit by the landmines. There's a helpful ammo crate right over here if you need to reload on. Uh, landmines, which you can do through the wall, actually. And on the carriers look slightly different, but there's a little cubby hole over here that you can hide in. See, there's a little ammo refill icon to the right. And it looks like I've gotten credit for a landmine kill. Right now, even though I've just been killed by a grenade, uh, the landmines that I set will still be active for 30 seconds after I'm killed. And there, there's another landmine kill. I think it's the same pilot. But as you saw previously, the M1 Garand, or the Japanese version of the Pacific Rifle for the engineer, can be useful just in taking pot shots at people from the distance. So it's kind of a different style of base camping the enemy carrier. Very different from uh, constantly running around, getting close in with the machine, uh, the medic submachine gun. Right, I was pretty low toward the carrier there. If I were up higher, there's a delayed kill message on the SVD. That's the Pacific torpedo plane. And it looks like the Japanese carrier sank very quickly. And there go their tickets. So this is another very quick round of Coral Sea on Let's Play Battlefield 1942, and I'll see you on the next bonus episode.